Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to get data from a database in ASP.NET Web API using ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, let's check my table in the database. I'm expanding the user databases. Sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one as well as tables also. For this demo purpose, I'm using the dbo.employ table. Let's browse this table. Right click, select top thousand rows. Right now in this employee table contains six records. Employee ID, employee name and join date. Now my aim is, I want to display this employee table on the browser using ASP.NET Web API with adword.net data entity model. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. Then the application name is EMP Details Web API. Click OK. And the templates I'm choosing web API. Click OK. After creating the project, go to Solution Explorer. And this is the project. And notice in this project contains a default folders and config files. I'm not deleting any models, classes or controllers. I'm adding right click the model add new item choose data choose adword.net entity data model and the data model name is emp model click add and choose a first option ef designer from database click next Create a new connection. The server name is after adding the server name, I'm selecting the database and my and my database name is sample db. Test connection is succeeded. Click OK. And I want to save this connection string in the web.config file. And the connection string name is a sample db entities. Click next. I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo. I'm choosing employee table. Click finish. And here we got the employee EDMX diagram. Let's close this error list. Open the solution explorer. And notice in this models folder, the EDMX diagram classes are added. After adding the ADO.NET connection string in the models, the controllers, I'm expanding that one. The home controller, let's open that one. The first thing, I'm importing the namespace using empdetailswebapi.models. After adding the namespace of model, above the index method, the sample db entities, which is a connection string name as db is equals to new sample db entities. The title display EMP records and return view SDB. We have just finished the controller part. Now we need the index. Instead of creating the index page, we already have an index view page in the home controller. Open the views. 
expand the home index.cshtml open that one I'm deleting the default HTML5 code. I'm adding at model. The project name is EMP details dot models dot sample DB entities, which is a connection string entity. After adding this, H1 employee table table tr I'm adding header tags employee id th employee name th join date after adding the headers to a table I'm adding at for each loop creating a variable result in model dot the employees between curly braces tr td at result dot employee id break copy this one dot employee name and the last one is join it. that's it let's check the output on the google chrome And here we got the employee table on the browser and don't worry about this gap because this is the header section I have deleted the default HTML code in the index.cshtml but here we got the output the table from the database that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos